Welcome to my fifth grade homeschool curriculum. This is for my son, Lonnie Jr. He is currently 10, almost 11 years old. Um, he is gifted, so a, a lot of these things are gonna be higher in difficulty. Um, so let's just go ahead and start off with the reading. This is th this year's reading books. Um, it's Harry Potter. I chose these because I looked up the reading levels on them and they range from sixth to ninth all the way to the last book. Um, so that's why I really just love these because it caters to Lonnie, who's advanced, but also caters to Danielle that's in seventh grade. Um, we are going to of course add the eighth book to it as soon as they finish all this. Um, they are currently finishing up the first book this week. Next we have all of their curriculum textbooks. This first one is a cursive reading because they really never learned cursive especially Lonnie Jr. So uh, they he just does three pages a week, one page a day Monday through Wednesday. They really enjoy it and it's a super easy task for them. U.S. History, this one is, as you can see, it's middle upper grades, and Lonnie Jr. and Danielle share this. We go through it and answer the questions together, and I always have extra things to add into it that I do, like worksheets and so forth. On Fridays, we try to watch a movie that ties into the, that week's history lesson. Next we have is Geography. It's from Spectrum. Most of these textbooks are from Spectrum. Of course, you do have to add to their curriculum to make it a full curriculum, but I like to use them as like a base starting point. He does about two lessons a week and I also use this. So if he did a lesson where they were talking about the continents and the oceans, I had him list the continents and the oceans and then I quizzed him on it. So I just do little things like that to add to it to make sure he is grasping the material. Next we have Spectrum, again it's language arts and um, it's the same thing. He does about two units a week course we've already started on it and he enjoys that so what I do is you'll see this in a little bit when I show you the, his binder but I will take like say it's common and proper nouns I will then get extra worksheets online um, and I'll show you all that but to kind of tie into it to make it a lot more extensive so I understand that again he's just grasping the material science is definitely more extensive I this is this is just kind of a starter and Danielle and him are, as you see, it's on grade seven, so they do the same thing, and it's just easier that way. I can teach the lesson together. As science, I feel, is something that is um, usually more obtained if it's taught, so we just go through and go through it, it together, but they answer it on their own, and then we go over the answers together as well. Um, but obviously, that is not extensive enough to be science. So I currently add this in, and it's the Florida Science Fusion. Um, Danielle actually had it from when she was in fifth grade, but it was never used, and since it was only two years ago, I thought it was fantastic. So what I have done is I have ripped out every lesson and I have stapled it together and it goes in my cubicle that you'll see during the homeschool tour but I just grab it so I know each week it just makes it easier for me and you'll see I just do whole punches and I put it in his binder um, but for like this Friday he'll have his review over all the ones he's done so far now this is some, a subject that he has that Danielle doesn't just because I feel like he's in grade five and it's important for him to still have it. It is super duper duper easy for him, except for that one obviously, but um, overall he does very well on it. And it is just vocabulary and working with it. I feel it ties into spelling and all that good stuff. So it's just fun. I think it's a cute little, a cute little thing. And what I love about Spectrum is that they are not very expensive to, to purchase. So like this book was only like six or seven dollars on Amazon. So I really love that that it is um, obviously cost effective because I feel like an education should not cost an arm and a leg. Next, this is all of the kids' spelling folder. So as you can see, we have Danielle then Lonnie, then Noah. So we'll go to Lonnie's. And I changed it since I did this because I did this even before I started the homeschool, like they started homeschool. So this is literally, I do it through homespelling. I think it's homespelling.com or whatnot if you Google it. But I really enjoy it because it's on grade level and then um, they have the basic words and then the challenge words. And what I do is each challenge word that they get right, 
on Friday on their spelling test, they get a piece of candy. Some of them I feel is a little simple, but I don't know if that's because Lonnie is just really advanced. I think that after Christmas, I may be switching him to the sixth grade level, but um, pretty much that is the words that they have. And then they put them on a flashcard with the definition on the back or on a piece of paper. And then we just study them until Friday for their spelling test. Um, this is what I originally did if you want to kind of, if maybe it would work for your children but my children just enjoy doing the flashcards instead but i made space for it so that was a lot of waste of paper and ink but i guess that's just the beauty of learning about homeschooling before showing you lonnie jr's uh, weekly folder i did want to go ahead and go over the math with you we use a math program called alex a-l-e-k-s and i will show you how it is used here you have all of the pies that he will do for the entire course. The one that are solid means that he's already mastered that topic. And then the ones over here that are light colored and dark colored, the dark colored are the parts that he has mastered. The light colors are the ones he still has. He goes counterclockwise. So on this one, like he would click word problems with multiplication and there he goes. The kids really enjoy this compared for time for learning. Then they just answer it. If they're having any issues with it, they hit explain and then it can teach it to them. Um, a lot of times they already know what it is and they're at a level that if they need help, I just kind of teach them. And then when they're done reviewing, they can go back and practice. And there are quizzes that I can create for them at the end, which I love. This is just Lonnie's week. And this is his weekly lesson plan. I always put the week so I don't get confused. A lot of this is for myself, but I always add this cute little picture because I did it one week and the kids really enjoyed it. So I just continue to do it because I love making them smile. So on Mondays, like he has math, geography, handwriting, US history, reading, uh, spelling, uh, LA extensions and the vocabulary. And the same thing, um, like that's where we're gonna start projects. I try to do projects like once a month, I try to do a project and October's project, we're just getting on it a little bit late. Each day is kind of different. Like if you've noticed on here, no language arts, but on here there is. And I like doing that just to, to give the kids a variety and so they're not doing the same thing every day and it keeps it up and just makes it a little bit less boring for them. Math is every day except for Fridays, of course. So that's kind of where we are at there. And then on Fridays, you can see that like they do writing on Fridays, spelling is their spelling test. And then we usually do a science project. I was doing it where we were doing an art project too, but that seemed to be too much and we were never getting it done. So on Saturday, on Saturday nights, we do art projects now, which works. It's just just, it's a fun family thing and it, it really doesn't feel like school to them so it makes it easy and then of course we have a movie usually our movie is educational but I did tell the kids every time they finished a Harry Potter book then we would watch the movie to that book they're literally finishing up the book on Thursday next is their daily reading log I have to be on Lonnie Jr. to do it more as he just kind of stinks at it he's not doing it much um, and then again, this is where their spelling words go. And this is, he's already done it. He was on the ball this morning and he already did his spelling definitions so that he practices vocab as well. And then you can see we have LA extensions. Now this is where I expand the language arts. I print out from K-12 Reader and English Links, L-I-N-X. And I like English links more because it, it it's better if your child is in like fifth to 12th grade. Um, it seems K-12 reader is better for the more elementary grades, but I really enjoy English links. And Lonnie Jr., since he already has vocabulary, I don't do too much LA extensions for him. Daniel has a lot more, but um, it just, it's just worksheets. It ties into like his is choose the pronoun for that day. Then you see he has the irregular verbs and so forth. So that's what we do there. All right, geography, there usually isn't a lot here to be honest. That's just, I just made it in case I needed it. And then writing, um, this is a ghost poem that they are going to do um, at the end of the month. Like uh, I think it's, um, on the 28th of October. So I just put that in there because I had the idea. And then history, um, this is a map that they're going to need on the next um, US history lesson. 
And then this is just a worksheet to go with the lesson. And it's just the Mayflower Compact. Again, it's just reiterating what he's learning. And then this is the Science Fusion. As I said, as I showed you before, I put holes in it and I put it in his book just to keep up with it better. And um, that is what we do there. Well, this is not really curriculum, but it is what we use for attendance. Um, you just circle it. I've been horrible about it. I have to go in and update it, which is going to be fun. And then it's the same thing on, this is our grading sheet. I have to update that as well. We have just, we are new homeschoolers and we are just adjusting to it all. So I haven't had a whole lot of chance to do that, but this is what that folder is for. And then last but not least, I have flashcards for Lonnie Jr. We have division and multiplication. So those are the ones that he currently uses. Um, I, I switch them out on Fridays. Like one Friday, I do division on him and multiplication on Danielle. And then I switch them out just to keep those skills up to par because I feel that's a very big building block in math. Um, but that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to leave a thumbs up. All right guys. Bye.